Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And today we're cooking out of our cookbook, the, the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook, and we're gonna do kale burgers. Kale, yeah. When we were making this cookbook, we had three different burgers, and this happens to be my favorite of the three. Yes, what are the three, by the way? They were the S-O- S-O-B burger. B burger and the beet burger. Oh, all, all, all are good. All are great. SOB is a smoky oat burger. I love how she wanted to call an SOB burger. And then a beet burger. Oh, with grilled pineapple on top. That was yes. a great one. We'll have to do that one soon. But the kale burger, this is just such a simple one. And, and so what fun. I like about this is that it it holds together so well that you could almost eat it like a, you know, cold like a cookie. I mean, it, it is amazing. I know. I, well, a cookie. Well, I mean... <laughs> it's, 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 it's good. If you're following along, we're on page 227 of the Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook. Okay, and it starts with cooking, um, like most burger recipes, a cup of onion. So let's get this on high. Oh. There we go. Okay, one onion, cook it up. And then we're going to add in um, some minced garlic. And to here, and just cook it all down. Yeah. Do you want the garlic now, Jane? Um, I think sure, let's, let's give let's, it a minute. Well, let's let's no, let's get it let's get it cooking. Um, actually, it's probably better to start with a hotter pan. But um, throw it on in, throw it in. Let's go for it. Let's see what happens. You know what? There we go. Oh, <laughs> there we go. So we have onion and garlic. Uh, which we're going to just watch and stir around because when we're not cooking with oil, sometimes things can um, obviously cook and burn if you're not watching them. But um, if you have an eye on it and you watch all the moisture come out of the onion and sort of brown nicely, things won't burn. Okay, so we've got this going on high. And this burner is a little bit different than our, our stoves uh, at home just because it's, a, it's gas and heats up faster. And, and, but I think it cooks quite uniformly. So this should be a pretty true reflection. All right, so these are going to brown for a little bit. The other thing we're going to add to the pan to cook ahead of time before we like make, um, what do you call it? Is it burger batter? What do you call it? Burger, burger batter, sure not. No, what sure is not. it? The, 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 Okay, while these are browning, what Anne's doing is she's preparing, we've, we've cooked this um, sweet potato. It asked for a medium-sized potato, so of course she got one the size of like an NFL certified football. This thing's huge. Wait, wait, wait. What, 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 are, you, are you ready to put them all in here? I'm going to put the stuff in here. This, I'm going to put the burger oh. batter stuff. <laughs> some oats, and then I'm going to put some sweet potato. And by the way, I cooked this sweet potato for about, because it's big, it took about 12 minutes in our microwave. Chef Mike. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, you would just have to cook it in the oven. And um, because it's such a big one, I'm not being picky about every little bit. You look like you're getting in there but every little bit. Do you need a big fork with that? Okay, so I'm, gonna be, I'm about to add my... Um, um, I'm about to add and mushrooms um, to forget the fork. This you have to use your hands in this. And the kid and you get the kidney beans in there too. I know, but I'm just starting it here. Okay. All right. So after I'm gonna put, um, I'll put in the kidney beans. Yeah. So we've got oats, a cooked sweet potato, and kidney beans in the bowl while. <laughs> The sriracha bottle is going to be coated in, <laughs> in beans. And, I, uh, and it calls for a couple of tablespoons of this if no. you are t tender about oh, hot. Two tablespoons. But it, it's surprising that what, it, it, it works. But and if people are scared of hot sauce, what's interesting is that your tongue is ADD. It's looking for flavor. It's looking for sweet, salt, acid, fat. <clears throat> any kind of any kind of flavor so if you can give it a little bit of heat or a little bit of spice or something else it it is satisfied by that 
So when we add sriracha to some things or jalapeno to some dishes, it's only because we're looking for a distraction, a flavor for your tongue to feel satisfied. Or Speaking of satisfied, this is really satisfying to do this part. I mean, I am, you are, I'm so sorry for yeah, you I, having to do that part because I get the really good part. So are you smashing the beans a little bit too? Are I'm you just squishing? squishing it all. I think, I think sometimes smashing the beans and opening up the bean skin get some of the bean insides, um, which help form the burger to be. This a, burger is good even if the beans are not all smashed. I don't mean all the beans smashed, but the bean skin, like hummus. Hummus has a beautiful texture because the beans are broken. And um, if you've ever had, ever had like a black bean hummus or... I'm going through with my thumb now and thumbing them open. Or you could do a fork and smash them open on the side of the bowl like most humans do. Okay, there you go. Okay. If you want to use that. All right, Wait, so you need to put I, the kale in. I know, I know. Um, great. I was just about to. So the kale, it, it gets put in right here after the, uh, maybe you can hear the sizzling over the video. I hope so. But the onions are nice and, and glistening and browned a bit. And the garlic, don't even know where it is in here. It's just all cooked up. And... Um, the mushrooms shrink down quite a lot once they lose some of their moisture. So I was waiting for them to lose some of their moisture. So the kale, yeah, perfect, perfect timing. And I put a little, um, I rinsed the kale a little so that there would be. So the kale gets cooked in. This is why it's a kale burger. So we've got um, kale that we stripped off the spine and chopped up. Otherwise, you'd have the huge ribbons or um, continents of kale in each bite of your burger. So chop it up a little bit. Oh, this is so pretty! It's beautiful. Isn't that just gorgeous, that green color? And you know, you could stop right here and just serve this as a, a, a whatever you want for a meal. Yeah, this would be uh, onion mushrooms with kale. And we could put on some of our delicious hot sauces or salsas. Or, or, just, or, sauce. or just use that on top of rice. Yeah. Okay, so how, how are you doing there? Are you getting it all mixed up? Yep. <laughs> Clearly. Okay, so this looks like it is wonderfully warm and cooked. So I don't want this to burn your hands, so I'm going to put it in there, but then we'll maybe start with a, a civilized utensil. Mm -hmm. You think? All right, and you can, you can uh, wash your hands or just use dirty hands, whatever you wish. All right, so in goes the cooked... Mushroom, onion, garlic, kale, into the pot sweet potato, oats, and kidney beans. And put this hot pan over here and let it do its thing. I'm not washing my hands because I have to go right back in here because we're going to have to form the little patties. Oh, so I'm bringing the pan back. I forgot I got to use the pan. Yeah. I, I got to use the pan again in a hot second. So we're just going to use the semi, semi dirty pan too. This is great. Fewer dishes. All right. So <clears throat> when you are making burgers, you just choose whatever surface or plate or area you want to put them on. I'll get a plate. We can make. Some I'm going to put, put them, them right in the pan, or we can put them right in the pan. But if we want to form more, all these are not going to fit in this pan. So let me, no. get, let me get it going on medium. That's big. Yeah, let's not make it so big. Can you make it a little thinner so you it can cook faster? You can make about eight if you make them sort of generous. Or three if they're this big. Well, I'm going to go thinner so they cook. It's not like so they can cook. Okay, I'm, going to, I'm going to go get a little smaller. I want this to cook all the way through. Well, then they'll be... They'll be what? All right. Now these are going to cook. In the, in I this think they're nice, a little thicker. Okay, well, but, make, make them thicker. But no, you know what? I've never made them thin. Well, is that considered thin? It's a burger distance or burger thickness. You can do it in a pan. You can do this in a um, here on a on a tray. We can just. Make a few burgers. Let's put them right directly in here, actually. Okay. 
and on a fun parchment lined pan and put them in the oven or the toaster oven. I think they're good on, on this, but I do think it takes maybe 10 minutes on a side. And don't put them on high heat because they do burn. So just keep them, you know, medium low. Okay. But this, this makes a great dinner, a great lunch to take along anywhere. Or, as you said earlier, cookie? <laughs> what did you mean? Well, no, what I meant is that it, it picks up so you could just pick it up and eat oh, wait, it, it as a snack. It, it holds its form? It holds its okay, form. Let's get some more space on here so we can get all those on there, hey? Eh? Here, can you get two more? A few more? One more? I'll get two more. Okay. So these are going to cook for a while, and you, and you know you can peek and peek and peek, or just let them. Just trust. If you smell it burning, it's probably burning. So pick it up. But this. No, you need to let it stay a little I know, bit. I, but I think I had it on. I think I had it on medium high. Again, this thing is weird to read. It says it has a maximum and a minimum, and to, anyway, I. We may have a little darker when we flip it over than I intended, but we'll see. We'll but see. look, look at them. I mean, don't they look appealing already? Are I guess you... I'll wash my hands. Finally. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could have made... Ten. Ten or eight. Like, you could make this go, or you could do 16 little, uh, what are the little ones called? Little burgers called? Sliders. Sliders? I think it's called sliders. Um, little sliders or whatever, or make them into longer, leaner, and call them sort of naked bratwurst because they're missing the skin. I smell burning. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I think I burn. I think I burn. That, you know what? Funny thing is, no. that is, it's okay. They're okay when they get a little burned. Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to cook these down for a while. Um, and if it's, it's going to be a few minutes on each side, like I, I didn't burn them. I, what, something's burning in our house then. Do you smell burning? No. But Jane has got an extraordinarily sensitive nose. Yeah. I could have easily worked in a <laughs> perfume per factory. Perfumery, or whatever those are called. All right. So we're going to take a few minutes to check these out and cook these for, uh, for a hot sec. Okay. We'll be right back. Oh, and wait. Before you leave. I mean, we're we'll coming right back. No. What I recommend oh. is that you could uh, freeze these cooked or even uncooked, although probably best to cook them yeah. and then freeze them. Yeah. Okay. Be right back. All right. Our burgers are done and they're wonderfully browned and blackened in places. Um, and like I said, learning to use this stove is kind of exciting, but this actually... Um, That's how mine looked this the other day, they, they, and they, they were great. They're, yeah, they're holding together, look great. So we've got a variety show of buns here. We've got our standby uh, go-to Ezekiel bread, which we love, and we also have... Um, oh! We have uh, some whole grain buns that were left over from a cookout that we had. Uh, not a cookout, but like a... a team swim team get together so this is just one bun probably not all whole grain but we'll give it to someone who's game to eat that and then this is a wonderful thin what is it called it's sandwich a sandwich buns it's a little sandwich sandwich bun osary thing. and this is going to get the big one and we just toasted them so they're a little bit crisp which will make them yummy yummy and now we're just going to decorate them like you would your favorite burger so I'm going to put on, what are you going to put on yours? Jane. What? I'm going to eat mine plain. Oh, really? Yeah. That's okay, how. I want mine with mustard and some, some spinach and arugula. Don't you want any arugula? Nothing with yours? I want a tomato and some red onion. You, want, you maybe want <gasps> ketchup. My God, ketchup. The only reason I like burgers is it's a vehicle for ketchup. What was See, I thinking? I don't like ketchup. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. How'd you raise me if I... I don't know. Every, all, all of you like ketchup. Huh? Yeah, baby. I like it in hot dogs. Mm -mm, my mouth is watering. 
All right, let me make, let's make this for, um, we're gonna make this for our video fellas. Um, okay, what do you guys like on yours? Oh, you should have put mustard on the top layer so it shows. Okay, you guys, I know you guys like mustard, right? Oh yeah, mustard. Mustard. We'll put ketchup on the lower layer for you guys. Oh, that, that looks nice. Mom, you're not gonna have anything, arugula, nothing on yours? No, just gonna eat it plain like, like a cookie. <laughs> uh, you and your cookies. Okay, you guys are gonna get some spinach. It's a burger cookie. Oh gosh. And some arugula and tomato. And you're gonna get some red onion. And you're gonna get a oh, I, I gave you, there. <laughs> I made it upside down. Didn't realize I uh, picked up the base. Okay, here's your, here's your cookie. No, are you well, really, it's all your, what are you no, gonna put let, in Let's it? make this. I'm ready, I'm ready to bite mine. This is gonna be a hot mess. I think I'm gonna get a napkin on board. You're gonna put ketchup on yours? Well, no, I'm making this just, you know. And you have to try it. Okay, I'm ready to get a bite of mine. Wait. Wait for, oh, she should put everything. She's putting the whole compost bin on hers. <laughs> I'm putting all that's left. He who wanted nothing to he who's having everything. Wait. All right, cheers. Cheers. Hey, no. Oh my God. Here, that's, that's what's just gonna do a lot of. Where's my lid? Here. Oh, there you go. Making all the little noises. <laughs> Here, this one's got some more if you need it. Oh, there's your, oh, there's the top of the, of the burger. Okay, that's the biggest switch from I want nothing on mine to I'm having everything on mine. Oh, no. I'm, I'm just gonna. <laughs> Definition of contrarian. Okay, cheers. Okay, I'm gonna. Mmm. Oh, yeah. mm. The burger's great. Mmm. Mmm. My ketchup is great. <laughs> I like the burger. Mmm. No, it's great. It's great. All right. Well, you guys, enjoy your kale burgers, and put I mean, put on um, sauerkraut, uh, relish, pickles, um, white onion, red onion, tomatoes. Lots of kale or barbecue sauce, kale, spinach, collards, asparagus. <laughs> Here, all good. All good. All right. Hey. Or eat it plain like a cookie. Oh. Thank you for watching. Bye.